So you may have heard some wild claims online, right? Like five grams is not enough, or you should mega dose creatine, or 20 to 25 grams feels like speed for your brain. It feels like cheating. Is that science or is it content? Full disclosure, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a researcher. I'm a coach. And so I love reading the research to figure out how the studies were designed, the methods they used, what the results they saw were, and then kind of connect the dots on how that applies, you know, to the real world. So when we talk about the real world, we're going to go to the more limited research on the cognitive benefits. These are research studies that fitness influencers are talking about online. So I just kind of want to summarize the findings for them. So one, creatine improves cognitive performance when you're under significant stress, particularly in working memory and reaction time. One thing I want to note here is the studies are comparing two different groups and both groups are sleep deprived. Some influencers will say, oh yeah, taking 20, 25 grams of creatine, it's like better than if you got a well-rested night of sleep. Where in the world are they getting this from? I have no idea because these studies are sleep depriving both the placebo group and the creatine group. So 20 grams of creatine, it does help mitigate some of the effects of poor sleep, but it doesn't completely negate them to where you immediately feel like you just got a great night's sleep just because you're taking creatine. So the practical explanation of these results, creatine helps whatever area of your body is under pressure. If you train hard, the body is going to divert creatine into the muscles in order to complete the task. If you're not working out and you had a terrible night of sleep, it acts like a backup battery for your brain under high stress that allows you to get through the day just a little bit better. But it's not a magic pill. 